We start tonight with sad news that will impact our entire state as we are learning about the death of the owner of our Detroit Lions. He has died. William Clay Ford was the last surviving grandchild of automotive pioneer Henry Ford. He died this morning just five days before he was to celebrate his 89th birthday. 24-Hour News 8's Casey Jones is live now in Detroit with more on his legacy. Casey, good evening to you. Leon, that legacy is very evident here in Detroit through this building behind me. And it's much more than the brick and mortar of F Ford Field. It's what this stadium symbolizes. Everything that William Clay Ford was passionate about. The city of Detroit, the Ford Motor Company, and most of all, his beloved Detroit Lions. No one loved this organization more than Bill Ford. And for 50 years, he poured his heart and soul into the Honolulu Blue. Perhaps... His one downfall, if you can even call it that, was his unwavering loyalty to this organization. Now, he purchased the team back in 1964 for $4.5 million and in the five decades earned just one playoff win. But it wasn't lack of wanting more. Lions president Tom Luan releasing a statement on behalf of the team this afternoon, and it read in part, his leadership, integrity, kindness, humility, and good humor were matched only by his desire to bring a Super Bowl championship to the Lions and to our community. Each of us in the organization will continue to relentlessly pursue that goal in his honor. Now, Leon, outside of Ford Field right now, the only symbol of really showing that this organization is mourning is the flag behind me flying at half staff tonight. They just put that flag down at half staff. Now, like I said, that the only symbol outside of the organization that they're feeling this loss. But inside the Detroit Lions organization, inside those walls and across Lion Nation tonight, they're definitely mourning the loss of the heart and soul of this organization. Live outside Ford Field, Casey Jones, 24-Hour News 8. All right, Casey Jones, our team coverage continues now with 24-Hour News 8's Larry Figurski. Larry, obviously, this is huge news for... The Lions. It, it is, but I don't know that it will make any kind of a structural change, obviously. Uh, William Clay, uh, the Lions announcing today, Leon, that they will, when the uh, time is appropriate, announce as far as the ownership status, who will be running the franchise. But bottom line is, and most people believe, Bill Ford Jr. will take that. Mm -hmm. He's had somewhat of a role with the team, but he has always stayed behind and did not, uh, for lack of a better term, step on the toes of his father, who has obviously run the team since 1964. Okay, but obviously he's playing a key role so Yes, far. he's been involved, but again, he always takes a back step to his mm -hmm. dad. He's let his father handle and make all the decisions. Mm -hmm. And the Lions, of course, just made a coaching change a few months ago. Right. So you have a new staff in place. Uh, they're already paying $12 million to the old head coach. So mm -hmm. odds are it's not going to change anything on the field structure surely maybe in the front office but it, it'll be something that happens over time and again an official announcement that Bill Ford Jr. will take over the team coming uh, sometime as the Lions say at a more appropriate time. Right and of course a lot of fans though thinking that that structural front office is where the change needs to happen. There has been that there's been uh, for 50 years it's been a struggling franchise since 1957 there's been a lot of coaches you know dozens of coaches thousands of players the ownership is the only uh, status and uh, constant thing with the organization during that time. So, yeah, there's been a lot of complaints about the Ford ownership. Not that he's a bad guy, but a guy who just uh, let people run with what they were doing within the organization and right. didn't make changes, i.e. giving Matt Millen two different contracts right. when the whole city was screaming for a change. Right. So, loyal to a fault. but uh, Really known for his loyalty. Known right. as a great guy, but uh, maybe not tough enough to push some of the buttons right. to work in the NFL. All right. Larry Figueres, we'll see what happens. Thank you, Larry.